Okay guys, today is the day. We are getting ready to head to the hospital. I am having surgery. I have to have a C-section. I don't have a choice. Um, if you've been following me, you know that I have been trying to have a vaginal delivery after I had a C-section last time, but that is not possible at all now because baby is breech. So uh, the way she's positioned, her feet are in the birth canal, so if I were to go into labor or my water were to break, um, her feet could slip out or the cord could slip out, and if the cord slips out, that could become compressed and cut off her oxygen. So they are, they scheduled me for surgery at 39 weeks, so I'm a week early, and they're going to take her out today. So my mother-in-law just came to pick Nico up. She's going to take him for the day so that my mom can come to the hospital with me along with Polly. My mom's the only, my mom can't be in the delivery room like the OR, but Polly can. And my mom's just going to wait in the room for me until I'm done. So I am super excited. I am so ready to be done with this pregnancy. It's been rough. But here's the last of my belly. She's sticking out a lot. It is a rainy day, but it's humid, so... Oh, that was a big clap of thunder. So, yeah, we're going to head to the hospital. Uh, I have to be there at 11. My surgery's at 1. I haven't eaten anything since midnight. Can't even drink water, even though I've been drinking a little bit of water. I can't go without water, but just sipping. <laughs> but, yeah, we're going to get ready to go and I will see you guys soon. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. All right, we just pulled into the hospital parking lot. My mom is here. She is allowed to be here in the waiting room, just not the OR, um, but she can stay like the whole time because I can have two people. I just can't switch out the people, so it has to be Polly and my mom the whole time. But I'm really happy to have her here, so we're just finding a spot now, and then we're gonna head in. Well, just because she's heavy, mm -hmm. just think. A couple hours, she'll be here, and you won't even have to worry about that. I know. Can't wait. I want you as you drive. Where's Jan? She's up there. Oh, she's in there already. Oh, she's got you. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. <laughs> yeah, at least wave. <laughs> I, I don't like when you make me do things. Oh, I tell her. Oh, doesn't like it. <laughs> it's a great day. Yay! <laughs> I do have a nursery since when? Oh, they must have just used it. I don't think they used it. Hey, so I have my gown on. I'm on my surgery bed, I guess, or the gurney. She's going to find me a pillow. My mom's going to go to the waiting room in a second. Polly's going to be with me in the OR, but they have to put a spinal tap in, so I don't know where they're going to do that. It's kind of like an epidural, but you get more numb from the spinal tap because I don't have to push or anything. So, that's what we're waiting for now. This is, this is the room. Bed. What? That's where she's going to be. So when I take a video with this, it's just, it's just like behind? Yeah. I hate the savers. I don't really have a savers hat. <laughs> Where's the savers hat? It's, it's not behind your hair. I hate the savers. I mean, it'd be better. I thought they were going to make a bow hat for me. You can switch it once you get it. Yeah. Okay. So it's about 12.15 now. They said we should be going in at one like we're supposed to because there's no nobody before me and there's no you know unless there's an emergency someone comes in with an emergency c-section then i will go on time so they put the monitors on my belly they have the heart monitor and then 
I don't know what other monitor they have. Maybe to uh, monitor contractions. But they're on my belly here. And I have like a band around my belly to keep them in place. Um, they put my IV in. And they said they're going to like crush a liter really, really fast. So I might have to pee soon. Because um, I have to get two liters in before the surgery. So they're doing that now. Um, I put these massagers on my legs. They're not activated. They're not going to activate them until after the surgery. But there are these massagers. I have to keep them on for eight hours after the surgery. And they're just to make sure I don't get blood clots. So they'll massage my legs because I can't get up for eight hours after surgery. No. So um, they're going to massage my legs so that so that I don't get the blood clots um, so once I get in the OR they're gonna give me the spinal and that's gonna numb me completely from the waist down so um, they're gonna put a catheter in then also um, and then they'll start the surgery so that's what we're waiting for now uh, we just saw I had a sonogram to see make sure she's still breached so she's still breached same spot um but everything else is good they said that since she's breech um she might take like a gulp of fluid when they start to pull her out and that could get fluid in her lungs so they're gonna have a nurse practitioner from the icu there or the NICU there at the delivery just to work on the baby if they need to, um, but she said it should be fine. Um, but other than that, now we're just waiting for the anesthesiologist. Um, my doctor is around here, the one that's going to do the actual C-section. She is going to come and stop and say hi really quick, and then we're going to get going. So I'll let you guys know. I'm going to try to get some footage of the cert, like the OR and what's going on during surgery, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, here we go. Polly's over there, chilling. Oh. Did it break? It did break, but... <laughs> we're watching 90 Day Fiance. So yeah, we're just hanging out and waiting. Did you get that on camera? Okay guys, waiting for them to get my hospital bed ready, or my surgery bed ready. And then we're going in. So it's 12:30 now. My surgery is scheduled for one. So we'll see uh, how long it takes to get in there. But I think once I get in there, they have to give me the spinal and do some stuff on me, get me hooked up. So we're gonna do that shortly. And then hopefully I'll see you in there. But if not, I'll see you when I'm done. I went in see that they'll get you all good to go. So don't worry about that. Because okay. even with the C-section in general, it Thank you. What's that? Drowsy. Oh, really? You feel any pain? No, no pain. What? Oh, that's good too. Are you? Um, hey, is that like normal for you to be drowsy like that? Oh, good. Well, you can't. So you can't feel no pain. Right? Yeah. Huh? That's good. Love you. Love you. You look so good. You look so pretty. Mm -hmm. Mom, you were born under the... I'm glad you're here. Oh, of course. Where else would I be? The spinal tap was really bad. What? The spinal was really bad. Oh, you got hurt? Mm -mm. OK, 
Okay guys, surgery is complete. Everything went great. Um, it was a little hard to get her out and because she was breached, she came out butt first and got a few extra gulps of fluid. So she's been trying to get the fluid out of her lungs, but she's doing a lot better now. She has not cried at all, so that's why it's taking a little bit longer for the fluid to come out of her lungs so she was breathing a little bit fast but they said that's normal she's not like struggling or stirring like at all so they said it's just totally like she's totally fine they're not worried about it um i passed a blood clot but only one and they just said they're gonna keep an eye on it but other than that everything is great um i was in a ton of pain up until about now so it's almost eight hours after the surgery so in about 20 minutes um, the nurse is gonna come in and try to get me up and walk me to the bathroom and then if I can do that then they can take my catheter out and take these muscle things off my legs that are like massaging my legs to keep the clots out which I can't wait to get them off because right when I got up to my room from recovery I was like sweating and these things are not helping so the doctor said it's probably just the hormones leaving my body and whatever so but I feel better now um so this is baby Capria her name is Capria Grace Taglarino she's a perfect baby girl She was six pounds eight ounces, 19 and a quarter inches long. And she was born at what time? Six or 1 50? 1 p.m. on the 19th, September 19th, 2022. She is about almost two pounds less than Nico was. Um, so she's a little one. But she's doing great. I'm doing great now that the pain has subsided a bit. Um, I can actually like talk and function a bit more now. So I feel like the hardest part is over. I'm in much better spirits now. Um, but because you kind of feel useless when you can't do anything. It kind of makes me feel just not good. But I'm feeling better now. I'm going to get up soon. I'm like counting down the minutes until they get me up so I can walk around and hopefully change and just feel normal again a little bit. Um, I just talked to Nico on FaceTime. He's with my mom. He was bouncing around being crazy telling me that I'm in the wrong bed and I need to go back to my bed. And he was taking the phone to show me where my bed was. <laughs> and it just being crazy but I told my mom to call me first thing in the morning to see you know how he's doing because I know that he's extra tired now and he gets a little cuckoo when he's tired like that so she's gonna get him up to bed now he had a long day playing with his grandma my husband my mother-in-law and then my mom took him out for pizza and so he's had a long day so tomorrow he should get back to a normal routine and hopefully he can be good for another couple days while I'm in here but I'm going to see how it goes when I walk around, and then I will be back. Okay, guys, I am officially up and moving. I feel I'm in a lot of pain, but I feel a lot better that I'm able to get up and move around and change out of my hospital gown into my beautiful new slips and my nightgown. I love these night shirt nightgowns from Amazon. I'll link them below for you. Basically everything I have is from Amazon, including my hospital bag, Capri's blanket. I'm in a lot of pain and I think I have to sit down now, but I just wanted to show you the princess now that I've gotten her in her little swaddle and her little bow. So she's doing really good sleeping away she just breastfed on both sides 
and for about a half hour so that was really good that's the longest she's eaten so far so we're happy about that my colostrum is coming in amazingly thank god so yeah i'm obsessed with this swaddle it's um muslin and it's like got the tassels and the rainbows obviously my mother-in-law or this bow was a gift so i don't know where it came from i want to say it's carter's though but she is just a little beauty all she does is sleep well she only stirs when she wants to eat so we'll see how it is tomorrow she's still a good sleeper <laughs> but yeah Polly went to take the dog out um, for the night just so he's gone to the bathroom because my mom is there with Nico but the dog is just not good with other people he's only good with me or Polly so Polly just has to go home and let him out so that he's good for the night Nico is asleep um, so yeah everyone is well um, I'm gonna sit down and try to edit and see how that goes but yeah if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know that you like it and if you're not subscribed I make a lot of videos just about cleaning organizing day in the lives just being a mom in general so if that's something you think you'd like make sure you subscribe I'd love to have you here with us things are gonna get a lot more interesting now that I have two kids instead of one but yeah join us for our next video and I'll see you in the next one bye, -bye. Smile.